In this video, I'm going to take you to a Filipino buffet in Las Vegas next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are checking out a Filipino buffet in Las Vegas called Cucina Neat Lorraine. It is off Maryland Parkway, right across the street from one of the malls here in Las Vegas. And I have a special guest on Jaycation today, and you're gonna meet him inside. He is a local IGer here in Vegas. And it says, welcome, tuloy po kayo. So that means, welcome, come on in. Hi, right, JK Shares, we're here with our special guest. This is Jay. What's up, guys? So this is a true JKation right here. <laughs> You're an IGer, a foodie IGer here yeah. in Vegas. What's your uh, Instagram? Uh, it's uh, FeedJ. Check it out, he's also Filipino, Kababayan. Hey, what up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Filipino food? That's hard, I love CC. Yeah, yeah, dude, Jimmy. Nice. I love the sizzling seasick, man. I'm all about yep. that. And then uh, the, the pork casino in the morning. Oh, hell yeah. And the gang gang, the cine gang. Yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah man. <laughs> so how does it work over here? Uh, so you just sit down, uh, get what you want to drink, and then um, pretty much just walk into the buffet and get a plate and get going. And how much is the buffet over here? Oh, it's $13.99. Yeah. Oh, it's $13.99, so inflation. But mm, that's yeah. still not bad. $13.99, all you can eat Filipino food. So let's check it out. Right here is the takeout counter, and then the Filipino buffet station is right here. Oh, thanks, man. Already got the plate. Plastic utensils, plastic pancit, fried rice with the eggs in there. Oh, we got your sardines. JK Asian doesn't do sardines. <laughs> that, I think that's uh, Sotang Hon. There's the chocolate meat, the Nuguan. You know, I ain't gonna eat that either. I think there's a synagogue right here. Then you got your pusit, which is squid. Kare kare. Yep, kare kare. You got your kare kare. That's chicken adobo right there. Check this out. They even have coffee drink mix called Pacquiao White 3-in-1. I've never seen that in my life. And it looks like they also have halo halo and taho. $7.99 halo halo, $4.99 taho. Alright guys, after giving you a little tour of the buffet, I'm gonna go with some fried rice. Just a little bit. I'll get the tocino and the longanisa, but it's on the other side, so. Gotta try the gang gang, the cine gang. Gotta get that eggplant in there. Is there any pork? Got to have the high blood. <laughs> Uh-oh, spilled already. I'm already making a mess. This is bistik Tagalog, I believe. I know my Filipino food. So I'll get a little bit of bistik Tagalog. And I'm a big Tocino fan, so we're gonna get the Tocino. It's very glistening and shiny here. So I got the Tocino. And we're gonna go with one Langanisa. We'll uh, rate the pungentness a little later. That's what I'm starting with. Uh, how about a little pungent? All right, kaina. So I got um, some uh, Tagalog beef steak, beef steak. Some kare kare, which is like a peanut butter um, beef stew and um, adobo pusit, which is a um, squid adobo. Really, really good. So here's the first bite. You know you gotta get that sauce in there, fellow Filipinos. And let me just get a big chunk of this. Get that peanut butter stew sauce. Mm. Mm. Super good. My favorite thing to get here uh, during lunchtime, for sure. Then the beef steak. Sometimes you gotta go away from the strip and come back to the, you know, to your roots, <laughs> the Filipino roots. Oh, exactly. Man. Do you like those types of pancit noodles or do you like the thicker ones? I like the thicker ones, the pancit canton and the um, the saucier one, which is the um, uh, pancit palabok. Palabok from Jollibee. Yep. <laughs> What's your favorite pancit? I like the canton, yeah, the thicker one. Canton? Mm. And I know Jay Cation doesn't like to eat the, the sardines. This is uh, toyo. I'm not a, yeah, I'm not a toyo guy, so this but is important. Here we go. Shout out to all the Filipinos out there. Are there bones in there? Uh-huh. There's edible bones. <laughs> mm. so that's my plate. You got some sinigang soup? Uh-huh. Alright, out of a 1 to 10, how do you rate the sourness? Sourness. Hold on. 1 to 10, I would say it's probably about like a 5. I like it a little bit more sour. Yeah, me too. So, I would just get that if, you know, I, I told uh, Jacation I usually come here usually when it's like raining. It reminds me of the motherland, you know. Uh, just been in the Philippines, I 
and come in here definitely brings me back to when I was a kid. Shout out to Manila. Yep, Manila, Antipolo. Mm. If you like this uh, content, like, comment, and subscribe to Jaycation. All right, Jaycationers, it's time to cotton. And I'm more of a breakfast Filipino food guy, so I will always try the langonisa or the tocino, the tosilug, the long silug. Whenever I'm in the Philippines, they always usually add the breakfast to your hotel stay. And you can choose a couple of dishes a day. Whenever I'm in like Palawan or Boracay, I'm always looking for the tocino in the morning and I dip it in the vinegar because I, you know I love that vinegar since we're talking about tosilog so much why don't we lead off with that get some of the fried rice with it they also have steamed rice too it is soaked this is a soaked tocino but it's good the tocino is like a reddish pink color and it's sweet the pork is sweet if you guys aren't familiar with it it's really good dad Cajun those makes the tocino almost every day and yeah, I do have rice in the mornings with casino. Not too much rice. I'm not a, like super big on rice, but just enough. Bistec Tagalog that has onions. Mom Cajun loves getting the good Costco meat and making bistec Tagalog. She probably will make it after she watches this video. <laughs> bistec Tagalog is not really a stew, but it has like a soy sauce, like salty soy sauce type taste to it. And it's very oniony and it's usually there's a lot of oil in it right it's, it's really oily that's where you gotta be heavy on the rice with with a dish like that oh yeah i can't have too much bistec tagalog but it's really good it's, it's very strong and next we're gonna go with the langonisa all right so the langonisa is very sweet the inside is more of a hot dog texture on this particular langonisa usually you can feel the, the crunch of the skin so next we're going with the gang gang the cine gang y'all already know i usually rate the sourness of the sopas the soup there's tamarind in this it's very light i would actually say this is like a three in the sourness scale mom Cation knows i'm the hard, harshest sour scale critic and she always asks me, how sour is it? Doesn't mean it's bad, it's, it's still pretty good. It's just I'm a, I'm, I'm a sour guy, I'm a hot sauce dude. So, mm. and you can come back for other plates, just don't waste food. So you're gonna wanna clean out the plates. We got some of that tocino, dipping it in the vinegar. Round two. Mm -hmm. Then I got some mongo. It's pretty much like, what would you say mongo is? It's like a type of bean, right? Mm -hmm. Like a bean stew with like pork. Really good. I like mixing it with my rice. It's like, so, is that mung beans? Is that yeah, mung beans, beans yep. Yeah. kind of has a muddy texture to mm -hmm. it. That's how I, yeah. I describe it. <laughs> I like mixing it in my rice and just getting it in there. Mm -hmm. Super fire. You know, I got to get my kare kare again. Mm. How's the peanut butter on that? Good. Too much or just enough? I think just enough, yeah. But I don't need any um, the shrimp paste. Oh uh, yeah, the bagong. The bagong, yep. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a bagong guy either. <laughs> I usually just put some of the fish sauce on it if, if I need some extra flavor. Guys, for, for my longtime time Jaycationers that have been watching me since Barcelona, Jay kind of looks like my roommate, Roel. Comment down below if you remember Roel. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these ube wafer sticks here and they have a ton of other Filipino snacks. This is picnic, picnic. And they got like mango jellies over here. What else do they have? These are all amazing Filipino snacks. Let me know down below if you want to see me do a video about just Filipino snacks. And I know my mom and my Ate Gigi, they love this type of juice. They just love it. Mogu Mogu. And for y'all Filipinos, y'all already know they have cans of Milo here, which is like a yuhu, a Filipino yuhu. Right there. And they also have mango drinks here, calamansi, guyabano. A ton of different Filipino drinks. Philippine brand guava. Oh, and check this out. They even sell lumpia wrappers, turon wrappers over here too. You'll find this in a lot of Filipino stores or re restaurants. They'll sell shirts as well. They got shirts with like the Filipino flag here, and the sun. And then they sell random like Vegas and sports stuff. They even have Los Angeles, even though we're not in Los Angeles. And it looks like they're like three for ten dollars over here. Auntie said, me tama ito, which means this hits. It's strong coffee. So uh, she brought me the hot water. I feel like back in the Philippines making instant coffee back in Kabuyao Laguna. It's usually like a creamish brown powder. It looks like uh, either cinnamon or brown sugar, but it's actually a three-in-one coffee drink. 
Oh, nice. Look, it's a creamer. So when they say three in one, what is it? Uh, coffee, creamer, and is it also sugar? Kapeng, barako, and malunggay. Kape ng bayan. Seems like it's super mainit, super hot. Oh yeah, no need for sugar. It's already sweet. Ooh, burn, burn, burn. That's actually really tasty instant coffee. Oh wow. It's like a, a white mocha cappuccino in a way. It has that white chocolate type taste to it. I wonder why Manny's the people champ. That's what's up. I ain't sleeping at night. Check this out guys, they even have pulveron here. You got chicharron. You got your dried mangoes. Oh, and over in the Philippines, they love Ovaltine. They got Ovaltine. They also have a store in the inside. Lamat. Oh, they got Dilis, crispy, spicy Dilis. And then over here, you got more. And it's an actual Filipino store here. So they got all the ingredients for the foods that you would need. They, I even see the Mang Tomas and the Jufran over there, dude. Yo, yo. <laughs> so this is your one-stop shop, Filipino food and a Filipino food buffet. See, this is inflation. See, it used to say $12.99, but they put a pental pen for you Filipinos. I made it a three. You need to pick up like the Philippine Times or the Asian Journal. They ha usually have it here. So that was the $13.99 Filipino food buffet. I'm going to link it down below so you know the address. I'm not sure if they even have a website, but if they do, it'll be in the description box. Jay, thanks for coming along, man, and uh, showing me the Filipino buffet. What was your favorite part of it, man? Man, my favorite part is just the kare kare. You about that peanut yeah, butter jelly I'm time, all about huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Hey, I love the Pacquiao three and run instant <laughs> coffee. I'm not gonna lie. I also like the bistik tagalog and the tocino over here. You really do have options here. They have a plethora of stuff, and like he said, they change it out a bit sometimes. Sometimes yep. they have seasick here sometimes too. Sometimes huh? they do. Yep. So make sure you check it out. It's off of Sierra Vista Drive and Maryland Parkway, right across from this mall. What's this mall? Uh, it's called Boulevard Mall. Boulevard Mall. So yep. for all y'all Vegas people this is boulevard mall right across the street jollibee's just down the street if you want to see me do a video there maybe take norma there for her first time we'll do jollibee but jay thanks man where, yeah, where can everyone me. follow you uh fej f-e-e-d-j-h-a-y on ig and tiktok nice check him out he's got pretty nice tiktok so thank you guys thank all right you dude it. appreciate it man and appreciate yeah it. check out my new facebook page all about las vegas it's called las vegas 777 let's go so check that out and we'll see you in the next video and in the words of me stay traveling jaycationers mm -hmm.